Hi, and welcome to the OMREB stats for November. Pretty darn good month. It's a great month, went really well. I'm gonna talk about, as we always do, sort of the top three or four things that have gone on, and why don't you lead right off with single family homes, because that's what everybody's always doing. Everybody pays attention to the single family homes. It's kind of the bellwether of the, uh, the market, and lets everybody know where things are at. The average sale price for a single family house year to date is a tick under $600,000, $596,000, which is a number we haven't seen. My prediction, uh, which we'll do at the end of uh, next month, which will be for the whole year, is that we'll probably break the $600,000 mark for an average price of a single family home in Kelowna. Pretty safe bet. And how does that happen? Well, um, inventory again is down to ridiculously no low numbers. If um, you said how many houses are for sale in a Barrett, there are 589 for sale right now in the whole Okanagan market. So how does that compare to the last peak? The last peak that we went through were 1,700 homes for sale. So when people say to us, hey, how's this market going? We just we just don't see things leveling off and, and slowing down or coming to a grinding halt like it seems to be happening in some other markets in, uh, in, the, in, in the country because there just is nothing for people to buy right now. And that's proven out also in townhomes. Mm -hmm. When you look at townhomes, Inventory is down to 220 homes, townhouses to look at, which is, again, a third of what it was at the last peak. There were sales up 21% and the average townhouse has broken the 400 mark last month. The average townhouse will cost you $406,000. Those are crazy, crazy numbers. And until those numbers uh, go up as far as inventory goes, as Ian says, why would prices uh, soften when there's little to no inventory at all out there. What we want to talk about, uh, condos, they're the same. They're apartments, they're off the chart sales as well. But being uh, prepared for when properties do hit the market, a great example was last week, 41 building lots. Uh, for those of you that sort of sit at home and watch your computer thinking, geez, I'm after this or I'm after that. With the market the way it is, demand the way it is, those 41 lots, even though they all went through uh, a realtor, nothing hit MLS. Why no bother inputting 41 listings when all you've got to do is put word out on the street that these lots are coming up one day? Ian and I knew about those coming months and months ago. We alerted our clients, worked with our clients. In this case though, we're just trying to overemphasize that in these hot markets, a plugged in realtor is golden. And after 20 years here, you know, we know what's going on out there. The town is, although it's growing, it's still a very small town. And a lot of this stuff goes on behind the scenes. A lot of sellers, you know, they come to us over the years and they'll say, hey, you know what, we don't want to uh, go full bore here. But if you've got the right buyer that comes along and you think our property's a match, come on by. Mm -hmm. And we put deals together like that. So you can't always just sit there watching the MLS, watching the computer, wondering what's going to happen. Big White, my prediction was that it was going to go over 200 sales this year. I checked this morning, January 1st to today, 195. Uh, it's <clears throat> up uh, 107, no, it's up 77% over last year. So by the end of next month, which is the year end? My, pr my prediction, safe as yours, Pretty well good. over 200. My yeah. prediction, 213. How's that? That's a good number. Until next month, which is our month of predictions for 2017 market, we'll leave you with it and see you back here in 30 days. Merry Christmas, everybody.